the Hellbrute from the box set and makes a Hellbrute with double power fist. That's pretty sweet. Well, let's see. Um, the uh, Forge Fiend has an ability called Demon Forge. Once per game at the start of any shooting or assault phase, the Demon Forge may be activated. For the rest of the phase, the model may reroll all failed to roll to wound roll rolls and all failed armor penetration rolls. At the end of the phase in which the Demon Forge is used, you roll a d6, and if the result is a 1, then the model will either lose a hull point with no saves of any kind of lap or something like that. So it's... that's not bad. That's not bad. They're pretty good at ripping apart tanks. So, I mean, I think when looking at these guys' equipment, they're kind of like the squiddies from the Matrix, you know, but they, they clamped on to the Nebuchadnezzar, and then they had the laser cutters that would cut the hole and they would climb through. I think these these things have a similar device. They grab things and then they, they burn through. Let's see the other one, Mauler Fiends. It's got an ability called Siege Crawler. Mauler Fiends can move up to 12 inches in the movement phase and are not slowed by difficult terrain. That's pretty sweet. Even when charging. That's pretty sweet, because that means like, they move to, like, like jump infantry or, like, bikes. That's that's awesome, because that's pretty fast for a walker. In addition, in close combat, Mauler Fiends add one to armor penetration rolls against buildings. Oh, that's pretty sweet. They, they go up and they knock a building apart. They just they attack apart like a giant bull. That's pretty cool, actually. So... I, I I hope that we see that in more games. I'm going to be building some buildings for that if we ever get one of these. You know, so we can knock knock some guys out of buildings and destroy them. Let's see what else we got here. Defilers. Ah, everyone's bored of Defilers. We all know about them. Pasha. Let's see. The Helldrakes. Ah, uh, Helldrakes. Helldrakes. Um, Meteoric Descent. Helldrakes have the Vector Strike special rule. However, as they're a vehicle, they can perform a vector strike whilst zooming instead of whilst swooping. Furthermore, hits caused by Heldrake's vector strike are then resolved at the strength of 7. So that's not bad. That means that they swoop in, swoop out, and they kick some ass. I'm going to have to put a disclaimer below. Bad language. Sorry, kids. You might have to, yeah, you're gonna have to ask your, your parents or, or guardians the meaning to some of these words. Cause they're not good. Either way, back to the topic and enough goofing around. Chaos battle tanks. There's not too much that special about these things. I mean, the rhinos repair, predators pred, and the, uh, vindicators vindicate. So, uh, that's enough of that. I don't see much to, much to work to talk about that. I can get into their their war gear a little bit later, but I'm just kind of wanting to scoop ahead here. Uh, Hellbrutes. Hellbrutes are kind of like, are the Dreadnoughts. I really just wish they had called them Dreadnoughts. Uh, so they have just kind of like the Possessed, just kind of like the, the, the Spawns. They have a random ability every turn. Where uh, one is a Fire Frenzy. The Hellbirds immobilize until the end of your turn. If unengaged, it must fire all of its weapons twice, the shooting phase, if possible. The target must be a unit that caused one or more glancing or penetrating hits on the Hellbirds in the previous turn. And if not, the target must be the nearest visible enemy, which could even be your own guys. It's kind of like some of, the, some of the old Dreadnought rules where the Dreadnoughts would go and go crazy and they would shoot your own guys. And Dreadnoughts weren't... Dreadnoughts for Chaos weren't really as a desirable thing to take because of the fact that they would mess up and shoot your own guys, and that's kind of when the Defiler came out, and people would, ever, would buy a Defiler, because the Defiler didn't shoot yourself. It wasn't like buying Karn. So let's see, let's see what the second one is. Two, Rising Fury. The Hellbrit immediately recovers from crew stun and crew shaking results. It has the Rage special rule until end of turn. That's pretty wicked. Three, Blood Rage. The Hellbrit immediately recovers from any crew stun and crew shaken results. It has Fleet, Rage until end of turn, and if during this turn shooting phase the Hellbrute is not within maximum charge range of any enemy units, it must run as far as possible towards an enemy unit. If this is not possible for any reason, it may fire its weapons as normal. So, it charges it at its enemies on three. 
And that's pretty sweet. I mean, it'll burst right towards somebody, and if it can't, it shoots at them. It's really angry. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Abaddon. Abaddon the Spoiler. Um, he... Let's see. If, if he's a... He must be the warlord if he's in your army. And he has all four Chaos Marks. So, I would assume that that means that if you take Abaddon, you can take any of... You can take a... You can take Corn Berserkers or Plague Marines or Noise Marines as troops. Maybe I'm not sure about Thousand Sons. But he's a Chaos Lord and and he has all the marks, so it seems to add up. Uh, he, ca he carries Drac Nien and the Talon of Horus. I like how they actually decided to separate their rules again, as opposed to the last one where it was Drac Nien and the, the Talons of Horus under the same rule set, which was kind of confusing, because what was the difference between the two? So now Drac Nien is a plus one strength, AP two, demon weapon with specialist weapon. So he doesn't get any bonuses for using another weapon. And the Talon of Horus is uh, a power fist, essentially. Although it's not. It's, it's uh, times two strength, AP three. It's got shred, and it's, it's another specialist weapon. And it also has a combi build, too. So, that's not bad. Here on Blackheart, he has to roll his psychic disciplines on a, on a d3. One is biomancy, two is pyromancy, and three is divination. And he has the Tyrant's Claw, which is a plus two strength AP3 melee weapon with armor bane, shred, and, and specialist weapon. So he's alright, he's a pretty good character. Karn the Betrayer. I'm um, I'm really am disappointed that he can't get his, his flamer, but you can buy it as a piece of war gear for any other character. Um let's see. He's got Gore Child. Gives him plus one strength. It's AP two, only an armor bane. He always passes deny the witch rolls on two plus. And in addition, if he suffers an unsafe move from a force weapon, it does not cause instant death. That's pretty good. He's, he's, he's immune to instant death from force weapons. That's pretty good. It's not too overpowered, but pretty good. The Betrayer, when he's rolling any melee attacks, and the hits of a 1 are not discarded. Instead, they hit a friendly model, but not Karn. So he can, he'll blindly swing and hit his own guys and not get not give crap. Araman, he's got the black staff, plus two strength, AP four, Malayan force weapon. It's not too bad. And it lets him use up to three witch fire powers in the same shooting phase. That's really good, actually. Typhus, he has the destroyer hive. In, instead of attacking in the assault phase, he can let, place a large blast marker over him and hit all the models underneath it on strength 4 AP2. And uh, he's got Plague Zombies. I wish Plague Zombies were actually something you didn't have to take Typhus for, and it wasn't so ambiguous on how you could take it, or at least it wasn't so limited. Well, it's, it does say here that any Chaos Cultists unit in the same army as Typhus can be nominated into Plague Zombies. But it also says that they can't take any uh, war gear or options, so it kind of makes it confusing on if you can buy more guys for the unit. If, you, if you're stuck with only having 10 guys and you can't have 35 zombies, if that counts as an option or not, or if you buy the unit and then you nominate them as zombies, it, it kind of goes all over the place and gets confusing. If it was the second way, at least you'd have the guys, I suppose. But you'd lose all your guns. Uh, and he has to get all of his powers from Nurgle, and he has a Man Reaper, which gives him plus two strength, it's AP2, it's a melee demon weapon, which is force weapon and unwieldy, so it's kind of a power force of... Uh, a force power fist that goes last. Lucius. Everyone loves Lucius. His armor gives him a 3-up armor save and a 5-up invulnerable save. 
And uh, any unsaved, any wound that he takes, uh, immediate, sorry, if Lucius passes during the fight, when each breach armor save or invulnerable save he passes, it causes an, a wound, which is a uh, strength 4 AP 2, and ignores cover special rules. So that's, that's, that, he has a counter, he has a, oh, you hit me, I'm going to stab you back. It's really, really overpowered. Malash of Torment, which reduces your attacks to a minimum of one. Which is, that's always good. And he gives him the Shred special rule. And then lastly, we have Fabius Bile, which has the Trigian, which gives uh, plus two attacks and plus one strength, which is already in his profile and feel no pain. The Rod of Torment, which is a melee insta-death weapon, which is at its normal strength and no AP. And the, Zy the Cyclos Needler, which is a range 18, strength 1, AP 6, assault 3, poisoned weapon, which is 2 plus poison, so that's that's pretty good. You always move on a 2 up. Now, Fabius Bile has his enhanced warriors, as he always had. Uh, you pick one unit, and they get fearless, plus 1 strength for the entire game. That's, that's just good. I don't, I don't know if you have to... To actually buy them, just one Chaos Space Marine unit gets upgraded. I don't think you have to pay for it at all. And uh, so the rest of it, we've got the armory and some of the artifacts. And I'm going to leave that for part two. So uh, if you want to see the you know, my rest of the review for part two, I'll just have to wait till it comes out. And thanks for watching, and happy wargaming. Plays chaos.